Hey there, guys. We're back with some more Let's Play EPO Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, I did make an Exodia deck. Um, there's actually quite a few cards that were missing that I'd definitely love to have in this deck. Uh, namely, Mystic Tomato. But uh, we're going to try it out anyway. <laughs> so let's head over to the second city here. Hmm. Actually, maybe I shouldn't try it against the people out over here, but... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> if it's just all fails and we lose every duel, uh, I'll just reset and this will be like a bonus episode. This will be like the bonus Exodia test episode. <laughs> if it's all fails, you know. Because obviously we want the, uh, we want as many duels points as possible. And a fail episode will probably be funny anyway. Uh, okay, it's like 250. Let's duel whoever this is. Oh, Joey? Hmm. This might be a tough matchup. Yeah, my good buddy Yulg's faced the greatest duelist in history, yeah, but he never once even gave up. I want to be tough, just like him. I challenge you to a duel for that. What do you say? I say yes, you funny, funny man. Warrior Max. Yeah, Time Mech Exodia. Say goodbye to Exodia. No, no, no. Say hello to Exodia. <laughs> Alright, Joey's going first. Well, let's hope he doesn't get his usual, you know, like, needle, wall, and, you know, some combo stuff like that. Zombira the Dark. That's a pretty powerful monster there, Joe. I summon Zombira and end my turn. Ooh. Okay, I want to go Spirit Reaper, but at the same time I want to thin my deck and then use Pot of Greed. So, we'll do this. And, uh... Should I set Grave Rubber? Nah, he hasn't even played any spell cards. That's it, Joe. Hey, my turn. Yeah, that's it. Check this out. I draw. I summon Goblin Attack Force in Attack Mode. That's a beefy boy. Some Biber. Attack is giant dumb, hey. Alright. Alright, Joey. I see you. I see you. So his effect will reduce him by 200. But I guess the good part is we can take out uh, Goblin Attack Force, um, even though we're going to take a massive hit there, because we'll get two giant germs on the field, so... Or at least we can try to take it out. You know, we can try. Alright. I think that I at least drew one of my stall cards. I drew a Spirit Reaper, so... I think we'll ultimately be okay. So. Alright. Giant germ effects. Very good, very good. Oh man, Joey's face when he takes damage. Alright, yep, you switched to defense. <laughs> Alright. And I doubt Joey's running final attack orders. Uh, since we got it, let's just MST whatever his back row is there. Um, yeah. What you got, Joe? Hey, <laughs> Grave Robber lets me steal a car from your graveyard. Right, that's cool, Joey. I run that card too. I'd agree. So we draw. Ah, we got a piece of the puzzle. Okay. Let's play this to start gaining life points. Uh huh. And we'll set Spirit Reaper defense mode. Very good, very good. Uh, let's set Grave Robber in case he decides to play a spell card. Okay. Giant Germ, you're up, buddy. Destroy that Goblin Attack Force while it's in defense mode. Sweet. This turn went well. And I am my turn. Alright. We haven't drawn the main combo of this deck yet, but it's okay. Like, obviously, like, once I draw it, I'll kind of explain to you guys, you know, the idea behind this deck. I'm glad you're attacking with that first. I mean, I guess you're maximizing damage. <laughs> but at the same time, like, that card's becoming weaker, so... And I did throw, you know like a few 1800 meters in here you know just you know just in case you know because like you do want to keep them off monsters if you can't draw exodia fast enough so <laughs> and what's funny is uh deuce of the forbidden list there's actually a combo in this game that's legal that can get you exodia actually really 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 easily but uh oh okay 
See, that's what I like. Okay, I'm gonna play Messenger of Peace. Yeah, so this card right here is very good in the stick. So, because obviously we're trying to stall. So check it out. Yeah, neither player can declare attacks, but face up monsters with an attack of 1,500 or more. All you have to pay is 100 each standby phase. That's, that's like easy street, man. Easy street. Um, I guess I'll set Wabaku in case things get like, you know, really, really, you know, dire. I just need to buy a turn, but yeah, Messenger of Peace, very good card. Ooh, there's your pot of green. Good. I can play Grave Robber. And plus, Soul Absorption is going to give me the life points for it eventually, so, uh, nope. Don't want to play anything. Joey draws two. Ooh, that could be bad. Call of the Haunted. Reviving his attack force. Hmm, I wonder if he has a certain warrior monster I'm thinking of. And that's kind of bad too. Well, yeah, it is because uh, can't Dangerous Machine uh, discard cards from me? Ooh, yeah, that is bad. Hmm, I didn't think he still had that card in his deck. Hmm, maybe I should have saved my MST, huh? Uh, yeah, we'll pay. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll max view here so I can see uh, so I can see uh, about Pot of Greed. Actually, you know what? We do have Feather of the Phoenix. <laughs> as much as I hate to uh, stack the top of my deck, I actually might do it right now just because... Let me check this out. Man, I mean, that could help us draw cards as well. But yeah, I don't want him destroying Spirit Reaper. Destroy one card on your opponent's field, not monster card. So he could destroy Messenger of Peace or any of my other cards. Okay, you know what? You know what, Joey? Um, let's do this. Let's Feather of the Phoenix for my MST. Just so we can keep you off of that. Well, I could Feather of the Phoenix in the Pot of Greed. That's actually a lot funnier. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, what, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Eh, yeah, you can keep your Dangerous Machine. I don't know. Let's see if I regret that or not. But we'll play his Pot of Greed. Uh-huh. Yeah, that way I can draw four cards this turn. Holy smokes, that's good. Alright. Maybe I got a little greedy there, but we'll see if I regret that or not. Alright, Pot of Greed into Pot of Greed. Man. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see what we draw here. Okay, yeah, so this is the main combo of this deck. Time Machine. Uh, this combos with quite a few cards in our deck. And obviously, if we get the ones that do combo, I'll show... I'll explain it, but, uh... And I'll show them off, but uh, I guess we'll do that. And call the haunted. Hmm. Nah, we should be okay. All right, Joey, I am my turn. All right, let's see what he rolls for his dangerous machine. This is gonna be, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll keep extra cards in my hand in case he forces us to discard three. I think it lets him draw a card, right? Darn it, yeah, that's a good draw for him. Fusion Gate, that could be dangerous. Could be. Alright. Well, at least we gained some life points there, but. Oh, now we hear the field sound. Here we go. Oh, I love that sound. It's so good. Yeah, rock and roll, yeah, hey. Alright, end your turn, Joey. Alright. Ooh, okay. That's good. Yes, I'll pay. Hmm. Okay, now normally I would banish Pot of Greed for this, but we've already got it. So I guess I'll banish the other key card of my deck. So I'll just show you guys. This is the other, you know, part of the deck that, uh, yeah. Card of Safe Return is actually legal in this game. Uh, we've got two of them, so that's the main way I like to draw cards in this game. Um, I guess I'll Night Assail. I guess I'll pop uh, Goblin Attack Force. It's his highest monster, so... Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, let's get rid of Goblin Attack Force. I'm doing this in case, like, for some reason he gets a uh, 5 on Dangerous Machine. And he just wants to go over after Night Assailant for whatever reason, so... Okay. And you may argue, like, oh, why didn't you banish a piece of Exodia and draw it in two turns? Well, I mean, that card... Oh, man, you get to draw twice? That's not fair. But, uh, like, ultimately, what? It's Fusing? Yeah, I use Fusing Gate. Yeah, I fuse my alligator sword. Yeah, with my baby dragon. 
and now I get to summon this to the field and go alligator sword dragon and attack mode. Uh, that's cute, Joey. Graceful charity, oh my. But yeah, ultimately I don't banish the Exodia pieces usually because there is a chance they could destroy a capsule. And oh my god, what's he doing? I tribute two monsters to summon red eyes black dragon. Whoa, my game kinda glitched there. Yeah. Wow, Joey. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I am a ton. That was a pretty scary turn, buddy. Ooh, we're getting the combo, we're getting the combo. Uh yes, I'll do. So, obviously, you guys are starting to see the revival part of the deck now, you know. Uh, but we'll switch this to defense. Uh, and he can't attack with anything, so we'll just end the turn. Yeah, you can kind of see, like, the life point gain along with revival jam. I think that can work pretty well. Please get a six and destroy. Oh, what's he going to destroy? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, nah, that's, that's the logical answer, Joe. I don't blame you for that. Yep. Okay, well, we got two pieces of the puzzle. Yes. <laughs> it's so funny, like, paying a hundred each turn is nothing. You know. So. Okay, we got that. Um, I guess I do have Call of the Haunted. I could draw a free card. So, let's do this. Card of safe return. We gain life points yet again. Uh, how does this work with Spirit Reaper? Hi. I'm genuinely curious if that would actually destroy Spirit Reaper or not. Um, I guess we'll find out during his end phase here. I'll just play Call the Haunted in the end phase and test things here. Six, 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 no whammy, no whammy. Yes. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about that card anymore. Phew. And we did, never had to discard, so that's good. Oh, end phase right away. Sweet. Okay. Let's figure out how this works. So... Let's target Spirit Reaper. We should be able to draw a card, right? I don't know if this will destroy itself or no, but... Oh, it does. It does. Do I still get to draw my card? I do. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, sure. And that's kind of good, because now Call of the Haunted's off the board. Ooh. Okay. Alright, alright. As you can see, we got some removal on the stick, just in case. Sure, I'll pay the Hunter. Good to know that's how Call of the Haunted works. Uh, I will set this, though. And, uh... I don't really need to play Ring of Destruction, do I? Not really. We'll pass. I mean, we got Wabaku down, just in case. But good to know we have that, though. Just in case. Just in case we need to, uh, you know, escort something off the map. Hmm... Uh, you know, now that I have two Revival Jams, I could, uh, pass on the Messenger of Peace. Hmm, start paying life points to draw extra cards. I kind of like how he's unable to do anything, though. So, we'll end the turn. Yeah, reinforcements of the army. Man, I can't believe Joey has a card that good in this game. That's crazy. <laughs> Jeffrey, the Iron Knight, is now in my hand. <laughs> I summon it. I'm in my turn. Alright, Joey. You got two pieces. Hmm. Well, that, uh, we already got plenty of life points, so. Hmm. I'll change my mind. We'll pay. We'll pay. Uh, like, if I had Spear Reaper, I would let this go. I would let Messenger of Peace go. But, uh,. Yeah, right now it's probably best just to keep things out of stalemate for now. Uh, that's a pretty solid monster right there. Uh, is he going to attack with it is my question. No, he just ended his turn. Wow. Like, you realize you can attack, right, Joey? With a uh, Dimension Warrior? Uh, yeah, let's pay. Yeah, you realize you can attack with this, right, buddy? Wow. Uh, and of course, backup soldiers here in case any of my pieces get discarded. Uh, I guess we'll have to end the turn. I mean, I guess I'll play Ring of Destruction here. 
and take out uh, take out red eyes, I guess, just so we don't have the discard for hand size. But uh, all right, Joey's ending his turn. Let's take out his red eyes. <laughs> Kill Ring of Destruction. I'll destroy your red eyes, Wheeler. And now we both take damage equal to its attack points. <laughs> Ah, Sinister Serpent, yeah. Obviously, that's used for some discard fodder in this deck, and also it kind of reoccurs itself, so. Alright. Uh, hmm. Lightning Vortex would be pretty good. If I get Lightning Vortex, I will ultimately let Messenger of Peace go, so we can start drawing some cards. He ain't the war, yeah, he ain't. Well, so far, my stall strategy is working. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will let Messenger of Peace go. Um... <laughs> it's funny, I actually want this card in the graveyard now. And in fact, Joey... I'm actually willing to take the hit. So I'll switch Sinister Serpent to attack mode. And, uh... Yeah, believe it or not... I'm gonna chuck this into one of his monsters. Uh, the most worthwhile would be some Byra, because we'll reduce its stats. So, yep, that's my mistake putting that on the field. Uh huh. All right. But I'm not worried about it. We'll recoup the life points. And so now, what I'm gonna do, Joey? So he's got three warriors on the field. That's pretty good. So let's summon this, Tribe Infected Virus. Let's start eliminating some stuff. So I will declare Warrior. This is not once per turn, but uh, we don't really need Solemn Wishes. So we'll declare Warrior here. Yeah. Very good. And then next turn, I'll declare Dragon and then Beast Warrior. Basically, I'm going to uh, recycle Sinister Serpent and keep doing that. So. I'll keep it on big screen just to make sure I choose the right types. Yeah, a riding cap. When this card summon, I can summon another monster. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's not using Time Wizard's effect. That's good for us. Okay. But will he use it like on main phase too? Interesting, Joey. Interesting. My curiosity is piqued, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'll pay the points to draw a card. He didn't use Time Wizard's effect. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, no, no. All right, Revival Jam will now revive itself. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're starting to see the other parts of the deck. Okay, Revival Jam, revive yourself. So we'll draw a card from Safe Return. Hmm, good card to draw. Uh, should I keep this? Yeah, I'll keep it for one more turn. Yeah. I don't mind him attacking with Captain though. Um, okay. Try Virus. I'll declare Spellcaster this turn. Spellcaster, yep. Whew, that was a close one. See ya, Time Wizard. Um, yeah, and this card can revive itself once, too, so let's just set this, and I have my turn, Joey. That's it. Fusion Gate. Oh, no. Hmm. I fuse. Alligator Sword and Baby Dragon once again. Oh. Interesting, he has Versago. He alligator sword dragon. He's back. Yeah, like I said, I really don't mind that at all, Joey. He's gonna attack. Okay. He attacked the other revival jam. Okay. I ain't mad at you, Joey. Alright. Very good. Yeah, well okay. Okay, and I don't know if I'll pay any more for Revival Jam. I think, you know, about 2400 
that's a comfortable amount, you know, prevent any hijinks from happening. Ooh, 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 yes, yes, we'll use the effect. Okay, you know what, now that I see this card, you know what, I think we'll let Messenger of Peace go. Chain another card? No. Revival can revive itself. Uh-huh, then I can draw a card. Man, we're getting a lot of cards off of a safe turn. Nice. And we got Spirit Reaper? Mm, no, no, it's fine. Alright, Joey, I see you've got two nice dragons there. Let's switch Revival Jam to attack mode here. Uh-huh. And let's use Tribe Infecting Virus's effect a couple times here. So we'll discard this, declare dragon. Oh yeah, and my dragon's not face up. <laughs> nice. Okay, I guess we'll declare Beast Warrior. Yeah. Uh, what should I discard, though? That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, maybe Backup Soldier? Huh, maybe Heavy Storm. Well, no, Heavy Storm would be good for us if you like Giant True Nades, but... Huh. Well, at this point, maybe I'll discard Backup Soldier. Yeah, don't really need it. So, Beast Warrior, there we go. Alright, Joey, we're going to start putting the pressure on you a little bit here, my friend. Um, hmm. I haven't really attacked all duel. I, I mean, I doubt they gave Joey Mirror Force. And really, Tribe has to stay in attack mode to avoid Captain anyway. So, I mean, well, just in case they did give you Mirror Force for some ridiculous reason, I'll attack with Revival Jam. But... Also, you might have, like, Kunai with Chain or something. Yeah, yeah, his dice cards, you know. I should have seen that coming. But we do get 500 life points, so... I'm okay paying for Revival Jam. Ooh! You didn't even get a 6, bro. Oh! Oh, Joey, that's some rotten luck. Well, you deserve that after all those draws you got off of your dangerous machine. Now, he probably has Scapegoat here. Yeah. Yeah, not shocked to see that. But I am glad to gain the extra life points, honestly. And you know what? We've got Tribe Infecting Virus. So honestly, we'll let him keep the scapegoat. And, um... Yeah, we'll just use Tribe next turn. No, don't attack. That way we'll kind of block his zones from like a two tribute. Or anything crazy. Alright, Joey. And I'll just set a couple cards here. And, uh, I guess we can flip this up now. It seems safe. Yeah. He's used all his, uh, you know, stuff, so... All of his face-down cards, so... Very good. Alright, Joey. One face-down, huh? Well, I'm guessing you don't have any... Thing I can crush card? Maybe you do, and you just can't summon it. Okay, let me get rid of this. See you, Night Assailant. Let's see what you got in your hand. Cost down. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. He does have it. Go for the lightning. I'm glad we got rid of that card. Holy smokes. Nice. Another piece of the puzzle. Okay, we'll draw a card. There we go. Sinister Sharpens back. All right, so we didn't quite win by Exodia in this one, but, uh, you know. Let's do this. Declare Beast. There we go. Yeah, we didn't quite win by Exodia, but it's okay. I mean, I did get to kind of show, show you guys the strategy behind it, so... Um, and it looks like we win with Heavy Storm. <laughs> Let me just play this, just because I am going to Heavy Storm, so... Alright. Oh, Russia. Heavy Storm. Alright, we'll gain a little 500. Anything to change, Joey? Um, hmm. Well, we have Exari on in hand. If he gets a good roll, this could really... That might have actually mattered, Joe. Nice. A five. Okay. Say goodbye to your skull dice. Ooh, wait. Why didn't you change scapegoat, bro? I mean, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. I have tried, but... Yeah, why not change scapegoat, Joe? That's odd. Anyway, we'll go with the Xarion universe. And we win, so... Alright. Uh, can I get Z exact zero here? Maybe. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand. Uh... Hmm, I think I can. Yeah, try it. 
appreciate a trap infecting virus. <laughs> we basically stalled out all duel and then try and just turn it around. But yeah, I mean, I did put some removal cards in my deck because it's just like, yeah, I mean, sometimes you do just need to kind of keep your opponent off monsters and clear out their monsters. So that's why cards like Tribe and Crush Card are in here. So, all right. Well, no Exodia this duel, this episode, but that's okay. It was still a very good duel. Very good duel. So. All right. Spell card bonus. Destroyed by effect bonus 36. Holy crap. It's actually a lot of points. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll switch back to a regular deck, though. Yeah, flood. We'll fi oh, thank God. Yeah, we're friends, right, buddy? Then let me register you as a duelist. Yeah, that way we can duel each other any over and over yeah, until we become better. Yeah, there you go. I'll base you anytime you want. Oh, thank you, Joey. Thank you so, 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 so much. Uh, because there are some pretty specific story events in which we need to find Joey. So, oh, thank God. Okay. That was awesome. Thank you, Joey. Thank you so much. All right, so despite that duel taking a long time, something good did come of it. We finally got to register Joey. Okay. We'll go with the Lesser Soldier now. Kind of a standard deck. All right. Oh my God! Thank God we got him registered. Thank God. All right. Let's do some more duels here. All right. So we know that's probably Kaiba at this point, because we have Joey and Yami Yugi registered. So well, I guess it could be my. The name's my Valentine. It's not a very subtle pun, but it is one. Uh, I guess this is, this is probably Kaiba. I uh, know it is mine. <laughs> it's funny I did the voice too. Let's find out who's stronger, you or me. Yeah. Whatever you say, my dear. All right. Oh, we tie, huh? Well, how about I pick paper again? Oh, didn't see that coming, did you, my? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab a drink here for the first couple turns. Oh, I love this music, though. Oh yeah, do I have Dark Necrofear in this Lester Soldier deck? Seems like it'd be pretty good, because I've got Giant Germ and... Oh, she got her Field Spell. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Yeah, because I got Giant Germ plus the Genies. <laughs> I'll check, uh, I'll check and see if I have, um, uh, Dark Necrofear after this school. Because if not, I really should put it in. I guess I will play this because I don't know if I'm if I can play Dust Tornado mid chain in this game. Like I mean, normally you're supposed to be able to, you know, but I don't want to miss the prompt. Like because she's probably gonna summon a Harpy Lady here, so I don't want to miss, uh, you know, I don't want to miss anything. And then she, uh, hey, what's going on here? Select the spell or trap to set. Oh, I accidentally hit the uh, the set feature of Dust Tornado. That's my bad. My bad, guys. But uh, yeah, I don't want to miss the prompt for uh, dodging her hunting ground. So, but I expect she'll float into a Harpy Lady here. Huh? Maybe I should actually stack Dust Tornado back on top of my, my deck. Cause she does have used like a lot of like mirror walls and a lot of like you know stuff like that so uh I, I just got another one huh okay hmm uh, should i should i stack it <laughs> that's funny actually you know what i will i will i will stack it 
because we've got Sinister Serpent, so why not? All right, Dust Tornado, you're up. I, what's funny is I can actually stack Giant Germ to float again. <laughs> pretty pretty funny combo I just thought of there, but uh, uh, probably not really worth it, but I don't know, maybe. Maybe if you're trying to keep a lot of monsters on board. Yeah, maybe, you know. And she did only attack us with one monster, so... I don't know. Let's see if she sets a face down. If she if she plays any spell or trap, I'll be so glad I reset this tornado. Uh-huh. Ah, okay, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have, but it's all good. Alright, Sinister Shepherd, return to my hand. Very good. We'll set it again though. Alright, and we'll bring out the second genie. La 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 gen. Also, I'm very shocked you didn't attack my giant germ. So, I might actually throw germ into that uh, face down monster, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, that's pretty surprising, because they only have 100 defense, so... You gotta have, like, some kind of flip effect or something, right? I don't know. Your dragonfly goes down. What's next? There's the harpy lady. Yeah, and if there's any one you want to get rid of right away, it's definitely Harpy Lady uh, 1 here. Because, uh, yeah, she boosts everything else, so... Definitely get rid of that ASAP and try to keep her off of it if you can, you know. Alright, and like I said, yeah, Giant Drum attack that. What is that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Well, hey, we brought back this tornado, so ha. Ha. Joke's on you, my dear. Yeah, get back your hunting ground. I don't care. All right, hey, my turn. All right, and we hear that lovely sound once again of the field card activating. Oh man, that's so epic. Uh, well, that's not a harpy, ladies. So. Uh, DD Assailant is annoying, you know, as far as its effect goes. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, okay. Ooh. Thought my computer froze there. Alright, take your damage, take your burn damage. Alright, no target 